Judge Brent Stadium. Set the tempo now. Take control of the game and don't let them freaking breathe. <laughs> Remember back in the day when you taught me to live and I taught you to pray. We went in the battle together, no matter the weather, we never delayed. You gave me commands, I always obeyed. I never loved me anyway. You should not have let me get away, cause now I'm hunting for my prey. I'm bigger, I'm better, my mind is a weapon. I won't ever let up. You try to break me down, and I'ma just get up. They ask me how I did it, I'ma just tell them I rose up. I'm a survivor. Fight for my life. I'm a bit stronger. Missouri Western wins nine games for the first time since 2012. We're going to be the first public institution in the state of Missouri to have given us a prize. China has identified the cause of the mysterious pneumonia outbreak. Here, it looks two of the biggest wins in this building in a long, long time. At least six people have died in an outbreak of the new coronavirus, which has now reached the United States. And the Griffins upset the 10th ranked Fort Hay State Tigers. Kobe Bryant died earlier this afternoon in Los Angeles in a helicopter crash. At this point, Americans should not worry for their own safety. I know I've heard that they let you feel so it's the only way to make friendships go but I'm too afraid now. We're all on the same ride right now. 20th win this season. Fear and frustration as the coronavirus spreads across the U.S. New deaths on both coasts. to get here, but it was worth it. The Hulks are up in the air, and it will drop in fair territory. Western is going to walk off. Great today's up on my tail. We have yet to win one of those really close ballsy ball games, and that we did. That we did. The fans here in the arena don't know what's going on. We don't know what's going on. Both teams have gone back to the locker room. The NBA is suspending the season. Today the World Health Organization officially announced that this is a global pandemic. But the NCAA came out canceling the men's and women's college basketball tournaments. There will be no March Madness in 2020. It's not just basketball though, it is all remaining winter and spring championships. I mean, we were literally loading our bus and getting ready to head to Lincoln. And Coach Bagley comes to us and says, listen guys, we need to take the weekend. Like, this thing is starting to get a little out of control. It's not over yet. We still, we still have a season. We just have to take the weekend off. And then within three hours after that, we meet up in, in the gist at like 8 o'clock at night. And she says, it's over. We're done. From pulling a softball team off a bus at 3.45 and no, no games, no organized practices, uh, no activities. That was as of 11 p.m. last night. Uh, we are in total shutdown and, and prep mode, and that's indefinite. I don't see a path to continuing a season. Um, it's sad because nobody really thought it was going to get to this. I think that's the part that um, is probably a shock for your teams that um, they would come to this so quickly. All the way to the end, it's just kind of just got taken away from us. Yeah. I'd rather roll over into a 6-4-3 double play and the season be over than just have it be over the way it is and career over. So, no, and it's not just us. You know, it's every senior out there. Yeah, I just went into a walk through graduation. It's just crazy to me, I don't Every sport's affected beyond sports. More of the country is closing down tonight. Many flights overseas have been canceled. I'm from Norway. 
but it's scary because I want to stay here. I want to be here with everyone. I don't want to leave because if I don't go home now, I don't know when I'm going to be able to go home. When am I going to see my family again? Is it going to be months? I don't know. Store shelves nationwide are dwindling or totally empty. And the University of Wyoming is a place that's dear to my heart. And when you make decisions based on family, they're different. Without question, Will Martin earned this opportunity through his two years here, and we are all in on his vision for that. I made it abundantly clear in my interviews that I do not have all the answers. I don't. It's going to take a lot of help from everybody to keep this thing going. It's scary and crazy times and a lot of unknowns. We definitely feel that here. Everything changes on a daily basis, rules. We aren't allowing any visitors inside the hospital anymore. The social distancing is flattening the curve. You keep doing your part and we will get through this together. And as always, go Griffs. Go Griffs. Go Griffs. Go Griffs. Well, the NFL says they are announcing they intend to start their season on time. Additionally, players informing owners they intend to show up on July 1st for a 60-game schedule. The NBA is coming back July 31st. College athletics starting to return to a form of normalcy. We fully believe that, that we're as safe as we can be here, and people are fired up to, to be in return. But that's the biggest thing as sports come back safety during the pandemic. I think the biggest thing we've had to figure out is just what you can and can't do. It's been a really fluid situation since the get-go. It probably brings you a lot more appreciation for the things you take for granted that can get wiped away from you like that. And hey, it's not all about soccer. It's about life as well. Today, the MIAA announced all sports practices will be delayed until the week of August 31st, and competition won't start until the week of September 28th. Everybody seems like empty right now. You know, like, where are we? What are we going to do? How are things going to happen? You get that stripped away from you, man, it's tough. It's really, really tough. And I want to put it in their hands as soon as we possibly can. Indy-based NCAA has canceled championships for all fall sports except football at the Division 1A level. They say not enough schools are planning to compete. The Board of Governors also said, look, if you don't have half of the schools playing a sport, you can't have a legitimate championship. It was made official today that the conference is suspending the fall sports season until 2021. You know, a lot of opinion on is it the right decision. And if you want to look at right decisions, Right decisions are our student athletes that have been here since June 8th. We've had more than 100 that have done everything we've asked of them, that we've changed protocols, gotten stricter, done things that don't make sense, that put them out of anything they've done before, and they've done nothing but adjust and adapt. And when you put all those together, it makes this decision and what happened even more unfortunate. And frankly, it's not fair to our student athletes. I can't like put it into words like, what all the feelings are because there's just so many different things going on like there are people dying every day there are people who are going on about their days and making great contributions and still living life normally and it's amazing that they're able to do so and then there's athletes getting their seasons taken away yeah I love soccer but you can't play forever Best scenario is I get to be out there one more time. There's a saying, you don't really know what you have till it's gone. Sometimes it takes the harshest of reminders to open our eyes. We are in a living history book right now. Unprecedented chapters. Unwritten pages. And a new test every day. A test without answers. We all want to do more, because your chance will come. Without a clear road ahead. It's important to let history be our guide. And now the Griffin defense has to come up big. If we've learned anything from sports. Can they get one last stop? It's that we've all been down. Mania Tips is fouled out. They don't have any more players. But never out. I believed that was going to happen. I believed it was going to happen. Here's the shotgun snap, Michael Hill. Making up, touchdown, Griffins! The Griffins come back from 20 down to 
to beat number three Hayes. The record now 18 and 0. One tournament, anything can happen. Advance to their first ever national championship. What's happened since? It's nothing short of amazing. 13 wins in their final 14 games. That started a 13 match winning streak, which brought a first ever MIAA championship. In North America, it hasn't been as smooth. Health restrictions, testing issues, some stalled efforts. The MIAA's athletic directors met yesterday after the NCAA canceled fall championships. Man coverage where well, this guy's having a chase and this guy's going to sit in the middle of the team. The challenges we face now are much larger than any championship. The health of this team, this program, this community, that's priority number one. Get your space, you must go! If things have to be done this way, they have to be done. We have to be more, more disciplined, you feel me? Yeah, that's what I want, right there. But history tells us. This great nation will endure. That tough times don't last. The hardest fight in your life is forcing yourself to change, to not accept what is. Tough people do. Tough people do. Tough people do. We're winning because we get to practice right now. With everything going on outside, you got to control what you control. The schemes are going to get more intricate. And move on, we're trying to make up for it. It's just taught everybody how to read and adapt. I feel like that's the biggest thing you can take from an athlete right now. It's really blurry right now, you just got to stay on the course because like, there's going to be a light at the end of the tunnel. And to come back stronger than ever together. I want to say go, and when we do, it's going to be powerful. And when that day comes, we will be ready. We'll 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 be ready. Nosotros estaremos preparados. That bell will ring again at some point. We'll be ready. 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 We'